Well, I'm not very linear to begin with, and now that I'm a little sleep deprived because I've been working second shift and I'm all full of Heidi's really good, strong coffee, <laughs> you may just have to ride with my stream of consciousness for a little bit. But my name's Steve Truax. I know a lot of you from visits here. I'm an old time fellowshipper. Uh, I helped the fellowship move up to Carmel all those years ago. Then when the fellowship moved back, I stayed. And Brian just asked if I'm, if I'm closeted where I am. You know, the, the fellowship always had this esoteric new age thing going on, but I always had a very exoteric kind of life too. College degrees, worked for a school system. I was in the Air Force when I first came to the fellowship. I joined the Air National Guard as an afterthought and ended up switching to full time there and making a career of that. And for 25 years, traveled the world. So I wanted to go to college. That, that was my plan. And no, nothing in my life has ever gone according to plan. It, but instead of a college education, I got a travel the world education. I got education from Paul and the ARE. Ended up getting my college degrees and things. And then recently I retired from that life, got very active with a food pantry, very active with the, the church whose shirt I'm wearing today. Again, the, the, the exoteric life, people, people don't know about this part of it. And I'm, I'm not really sure how to bridge the two. I think that's, that's my challenge now. Although I'll tell you where I'm at. Uh, the northern Shenandoah Valley now, we have Tai Chi, we have uh, organic farms, we have yoga studios. I've been invited to a yoga retreat. So I'm not doing what I planned, but <laughs> nothing, nothing I've ever been in made sense at the time. It all makes sense looking back at it. So I can't wait till it's a couple of years from now. I can look, I can look back at this and, and it'll make sense. So, but right now I'm doing a knucklehead job in the Air Force, in the uh, warehouse like I did 40 years ago and, and I'm enjoying it. So, yeah. wow. <laughs> oh, I have one question though. Stephen, the, the, the Catholic Church used to be able to buy indulgences. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you gave the church enough money, they would forgive your sins and, <laughs> and you were free to go out and sin again. So you don't sell indulgences with the gong though, I take it, huh? <laughs> well, I, did, I didn't bring any money with me, so. <laughs> Thank you.